Can I charge my car using these solar panels that I just got off of Temu from China? Will it charge? So, I got the solar panels right here. For spending $70 in buying a, a bunch of panels, inverter, other parts of like the whole solar system, I was deeply surprised to find that this was all that came in the mail. So supposedly there's 200 watt solar system in here. So we're gonna be both surprised at how little we've got um, from the Tendo app. So let's, let's, you know, break into it, so. All right, so here we have a flashlight. This is like my free gift or whatever, it's irrelevant. So here is the panels themselves. Here's the power inverter. So this is what I thought. It looked like this was gonna be like a lot bigger um, than just this, but here it is. So we're gonna probably try to charge my phone first. So this is where apparently the panels go into. Uh, this is the solar charge controller, which is apparently needs to be transferred from here to here to here. And this is what we'll plug into and that's what will go into the bank. So I think this kind of functions as like conversion device because solar panels take in a different form of electricity. Uh, that's a bunch of mumbo jumbo AC, DC charges. Uh, didn't know any of that before I started this video. So I put the working figure this out. And then we got the panel right here. $70 worth of solar system. <laughs> this looks like a sign that you put up or hang up in your room, not an actual functioning solar device, so <laughs> this is all we have. Um, just one last look. We're gonna first try to charge my phone with it. All right, luckily in the video, I found out which wires came from where, so I believe we plugged this in to right here. I lied. It is a bright, beautiful Arizona day. There's not a cloud in sight and perfect for our Chinese solar panels to explode, I mean charge. First test that we have going. After setting it out in the sun for a couple seconds, we have noises already. So this is, these are the noises that we're making. So we're making progress at least. We've got the phone, we're gonna see if we can charge it first. We've left it out here for a couple minutes, let it soak in the sun's rays. Only funny noises so far, no explosions, but we're gonna see if we can charge the phone. We'll plug it in. Test one, can it charge an iPhone? Three, two, one. Oh, and our first test is successful. We are charging an iPhone with a $70 solar system right now. Look back in a bit, maybe we can charge something bigger. I said I was gonna charge a car. We're gonna bring out our car right now. All right, here's the electric car. We will be filming and charging up for the time being. Anybody wanna? Hop on board. I do. <laughs> Shit. This boy is thick. 18 amplio. So I think that's amp. Would you look at that? It works. Oh, <laughs> Yo, it Would works. You look at that. It works. It's working. <laughs> It's working. Holy cow, trust. As you can see right here, this is my plug-in Ford Fusion Energy 2016. Before we can obviously charge our car, we, we're just gonna run it dry. That motor means that we are out of battery, folks. Here we have our setup right now. So I wouldn't mind this place catching on fire. <laughs> this is bigger than the whole system. Will it pre-work out? All right, we have a green light. We have a, a green light. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> so you can already hear it when I... And then it starts back up again. That's how quickly the, the panels are going. After about like an hour, I came back out here and it's still kind of just flashing. Uh, I don't think it's charging, mostly just because up here, 
where it should be blinking. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. You can kind of see that. So this this little guy right here is supposed to be blinking and he's just showing a solid green. So I think it means it's getting power, it's just not enough. Uh, we did a little bit of math and as you can see right here, whoops, if I'm not standing in the way, um, right here it tells the voltage of exactly what we need. So our regular house gave us like 20 volts, I think is what was saying. This one, when we have it out in the sun primed, it's about 14, maybe different time of day can kind of affect that. We're willing to do that. But if you'll check right here, so right now it's at 13. Watch this as I just barely go in front of it. It's kind of neat. It just already goes down to like 10, 11, 12. If crew right here, he just flips it over, boom, it's instantly gone. So I could be looking really stupid right now, but essentially if we get one more, the thing on the car said 18 somewhere. So I'm thinking that that's that's what we need. So that's what we're gonna try to shoot for. And if so, we're char charging an electric car for about $80. So who knows, maybe we'll tr uh, try this again later. Uh, all right, so I decided to double the amount of solar panels that I got. Uh, it's a windy day. It's been about two weeks. It took about two weeks for them to come in the mail, which was late, so they gave me a $5 credit. There we got crew. You plug this sucker in. Uh, I, don't like that <laughs> I don't think those are supposed to be touchy. That's exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> I was like, uh, I think it might accidentally put those in. So I think we accidentally put too much power into this. All right. Oh, okay. We're starting. It keeps on flashing, uh, so. Yeah, this thing turned off when it gets so after a little bit of diagnosing, I found out that the inverter technically could not support a stream of 1500 watts. It was only able to support 500 watts. So basically what that means is we were putting too much electricity in it and the car needed more electricity that it couldn't put out. So I was like, okay, I'll just get a new inverter. But then I found out the ones that I need are more of like around 100 to $300. And so I wasn't gonna cheap out again because then what if I had to buy some more? So I was just like, you know what? Yes. The answer is yes, my my Temu solar system could have charged if I had bought a better inverter. And that's where I'm going to leave it today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, have a great rest of the day. Bye.